Hi everyone, you must be here to learn about the changes to Zoom within Canvas. Come on in, I'll show you around the new features. We know that you depend on Canvas and Zoom to teach your students, and we know changes can be worrisome. Hold on, let me get out of these dirty overalls. If only all changes were that easy. The good news is that the changes to Zoom in Canvas are. In this short video, I'll show you the new Zoom app in Canvas and explain how the new application works seamlessly with Canvas, leveraging Canvas tools and enhancing experience for you and your students. We'll look at enabling the new Zoom app, scheduling new Zoom sessions, and importing existing meetings. Let's go take a look in Canvas. If you were using Zoom within Canvas before, you were using the Confer Zoom app. This app is being discontinued and we'll be using a new app called Foothill Zoom. To start using Foothill Zoom, you'll need to disable the old app and enable the new app. Go to your course navigation menu, scroll to the bottom and select settings. In your settings, select the navigation tab. The items in the top list are enabled. If Confer Zoom appears in this list, choose the More menu, that's the three dots next to the name, to disable the app. Next, scroll down to the bottom list and find the Foothill Zoom app. Select the More menu and enable the app. Before leaving this page, be sure to save your changes. The Foothill Zoom app will now appear in your course navigation. Okay, here it is. Let's see how it works. The first time you use the Foothill Zoom app, you'll be asked to authorize. This will connect your Canvas account with your Zoom account, allowing you to schedule meetings from within your course. Once you authorize the connection, you'll have access to your Zoom account in Canvas. The interface is almost identical to the interface you use when you log into Zoom via the web. Each of your classes has its own Foothill Zoom dashboard, which shows all of the upcoming and previous meetings that you've scheduled for that class. If you have set up cloud recordings, all recordings for this class will be archived here. Okay, ready to set up a meeting? Select Schedule a New Meeting. Enter a name for the meeting, and remember this is the name your students will see, and then customize any settings that need to be adjusted for the meeting, then select Save. You'll see the meeting details and invite information. Select Course Meetings from the breadcrumb trail to go back to your dashboard. The meeting will automatically appear in the list of meetings for the course. If you have already scheduled meetings for your course using the desktop app or through the old ConferZoom app in Canvas, you can easily sync them to the new app. First, select All My Meetings to see the full list of all your Zoom meetings. Copy the meeting ID of the meeting you would like to add to your class, then use the breadcrumb trail to go back to the Zoom meetings for this specific class. Next, select the More menu just to the right of the Schedule a New Meeting button, then select Import a Meeting. Paste the meeting ID into the field, then select Import. The meeting will be added to the course meetings. If you add recurring meetings to your course, either by creating a new recurring meeting or importing a recurring meeting, each date the meeting is scheduled will appear in your meeting list. That's it. The new Foothill Zoom app is easy to use. In our next video, we'll show you how your students will use the app.